Hey guys, it's Friday and that means that it's time for new products. Now, in case you missed the video last week, Rob's in Thailand. So, I'm Nick and I'm going to be doing the new products post this week. We've got some pretty cool stuff, so let's jump right in. Now, we've been carrying EL wire for a while now. And it's been really popular. And I can understand why. People like things that light up. So, we've decided to carry more EL stuff. We've got EL tape in five different colors. And we also have EL panel in four different colors. The EL tape is a meter long, and it comes in green, red, blue, a blue-green, which looks white, and a white color, which looks pink, oddly enough. And we also have this EL panel, which is 10 by 10 centimeters square, and it comes in blue, red, blue-green, which again looks white, and white, which looks pink. Now, you can light this stuff up the same way that you would EL wire. It works with any of our sequencers and any of our EL inverters. And just to give you an idea of what this stuff looks like when it lights up, I've made a little demo, so let's check it out. Well, we've shut off most of the lights in here so that you can see this thing in action. Basically, what I've built is a giant Simon game. Now, it's based on the EL sequencer board. And what I did was I burned the Arduino bootloader on it and wrote some Arduino code that acts a lot like our small Simon games, except it lights up these EL panels. I've taken advantage of the fact that the EL panel is nice and flexible, and I've put a force-sensitive resistor underneath each one. When you press against the panel, you're actually pressing through it and hitting the uh, force-sensitive resistor, and the EL sequencer board can tell which one you've pressed. I've also added a buzzer to the center, which plays different tones depending on which light's lighting up. Now let's turn on our power inverter so that we can light these things up and play a game. I'll just press a panel here to get started. And then it'll give me a sequence of lights to try to repeat. And since this could go on forever, I'm just going to throw the game here and press, I don't know, this one. And then it'll just blink the red square to let me know that my memory is not as good as it should be. We've been carrying these game triggers for a while now. And if you remember the video with the rubber band guns, we actually used these in that video. When I built those rubber band guns, I had to solder directly to the potentiometer pins on these triggers, and they would bend and flex, and the whole package wasn't very easy to mount either. So we now have a breakout board. The breakout board allows you to mount the trigger directly to the board, and it breaks out the three pins from the potentiometer so you don't have to solder directly to them. It also provides a nice clean way to mount it to your project. Since the board works with either the left or the right trigger, and you only get one board, when you buy a pair of these triggers, you should also order two of these boards, and that way it'll be easy to mount them to your project. Here's what the trigger looks like when it's mounted to the breakout board. You can see that it snaps into place nice and tight, and you just solder these pins, and it also gives you these two holes so that you can mount it to your project real solid. We have one more product to talk about today, which is the new Anio Magic line, which is called Sparkle. Now, you may be familiar with Anio Magic because we've been carrying their other line of products, the Schemer line, in the form of the bracelet kit for some time now. The Anio Magic line is a really great way to get into e-textiles. It's really easy to use and you can make some pretty cool projects with it. Now, since this is a little more involved than some of the other things that we've talked about today, we had our resident e-textiles expert expert, Dia, do a tutorial on this, which you can find by following this link right here. Well, that's it for this week, and I had a lot of fun filling in for Rob. I look forward to seeing you guys over the next few weeks, and uh, as always, there's more new products, so make sure to check them out in the post below, and I'll see you next Friday.